If you are looking looking for the fastest computer on the market, with the latest processor, largest hard drive, best graphics, best audio, and all of the bells and whistles, you probably aren't reading this review right now. If you are reading this review, you are most likely in the market for a budget-friendly computer which still offers decent speed, graphics, and features. That's exactly what you will get with this purchase. This budget-friendly model delivers exactly what you would expect. The speed is perfectly acceptable for just about any everyday, non-professional, software you want to install. Coupled with a decent monitor, the graphics are perfect for viewing high-resolution photos, streaming video, and live gaming. The sound is very good, as far as integrated audio goes. What do I not like about this computer? Honestly, the only thing I personally couldn't live with is the keyboard. The keypad feels condensed, even though it isn't a small keyboard. It is also very lightweight and won't stay secure on a desk. And it is corded. Is this a deal breaker? No way. You can upgrade to a decent wireless keyboard slash mouse combo for about $25. This computer does not come with a monitor. You can hook it up to just about any monitor or television, but you'll need the correct cable to do this. I like that this PC is so easy to set up. Power cord and HDMI cable to my TV and that is it. The Wi-Fi connected fine and moves fast enough to stream movies and music and everything I need to use it for as a home computer. The Windows 10 has to be about the most user-friendly version I've used yet. I'm very happy. My favorite features are 1, Wi-Fi, 2, Bluetooth, 3, Windows 10, 4, it's so quiet you don't even know it's on which has to be my favorite thing. When we used my old PC to stream Amazon Prime it always bothered me that I could hear my computer running but this one is super quiet I love it. If anything changes it'll be sure to come back and update my review. This Acer Aspire TC885UA92 desktop is powerful and meets our family's computing needs. This is our first Windows 10 PC. It is an excellent replacement to our Windows 7 PC, which now serves as backup PC. The PC boots up fast. I timed this to about 12 seconds to boot up to to win 10 lock screen and less than 10 seconds to shut down. There is minimal bloatware, from what I can see when I checked out start menu. You get 443GB free out of 475GB for storage. This PC is quiet, you can barely hear the fan, even when you place. Both are reliable, without interruptions as I surf the net. I connected my wireless earphones via Bluetooth, pairs fast and works great throughout the times I have it in my ear. Norton Security Ultra is included free of charge for 30 days. Keyboard is lightweight and does not take up much space. It measures 16 1 quarter length and 4 half in width. I don't like the way it feels, even though it has all the keys I want or need. I prefer my old keyboard, so, I use that. I like the mouse that is included, it has an ergonomic grip on the sides. The pictures and sounds work great from the DVDs that I put into the PC's DVD player. Note. When first using the DVD player, you select a region, region 1 to 6. You are allowed 5 changes to this option. It looks like the 5th time you select the region you want, that becomes permanent. I love the notch the DVD player has for DVDs, see picture. Click link in description for more reviews. Great mid-level computer with lots of bells and whistles and fast boot. Bluetooth? Check. Wi-Fi? Wired LAN? USB 3. 1. DVD drive? Check. Dual HDMI ports plus VGA for backwards compatibility. Boot time? 7 seconds flat. Minimal software bloat that takes all of 5 minutes to remove. The included antivirus is Norton Security Ultimate, but it's a 30-day demo version. I'm not a fan of anything Norton for many reasons, and it's expensive, I consider it additional bloat. The cable management is surprisingly well done and the system is nicely designed. It's a mid-level PC with minimal adaptability. The MOBO will support two additional drives, but the power supply is pretty weak, 300 watts. There's only one expansion slot, but the PC already has everything most users will want. It's not a gaming PC, with most action games you'll be playing at 720p, but it plays videos just fine. There's enough USB ports to support anything you'll need. I've attached shots of various benchmarks and info screens. Surprisingly it passed most of the Oculus VR compatibility check, but unsurprisingly not the graphics card portion. The keyboard is a chiclet style, thin, small and very lightweight. It feels pretty cheap. The mouse feels even worse. Fine for occasional use, but in replacing them both, 
Overall it's a nice PC for everyday use, office use, etc. I bought this because I needed something with an Intel chip for virtualization and it had a full-size power supply, not some strange miniature proprietary one that a lot of the cheaper mini computers have. It comes with a 300 watt power supply so I changed it out with a 450 watt PS that I had laying around and then added an NVIDIA GTX 960 display adapter to use the extra 150 watts I just added. That 960 is an enormousness card but it fit just fine. I don't play games on computers, but this thing will obviously not be a gaming machine without a video card upgrade. I upgraded because the development software I use can be graphically demanding and I already had the card. I removed Microsoft's ridiculous hypervisor from the group policy so I could use VTX and slats with VirtualBox and added some VMS. I also added the Android Studio with hacks. The M. 2500 gig drive along with the HDD that I added work perfect. This computer is easy to upgrade, runs VMS, and had a good price. I am very happy with this machine. This machine boots extremely quick. The M. 2 hard drive pulls up Windows faster than it takes the motherboard to post. The Ethernet seems to run faster than my main machine. There is no delay when right clicking the desktop as I seem to see on most pre-built machines today. It's always ready to go. On Cinebench it ranked just under the Intel i7-7700K. While running the CPU Z Bench it started running on the warmer side of what I'm comfortable with. Click link in description for more reviews. I was unable to figure out how to power an NVIDIA video card with a 6-pin peg power connector, doesn't mean it can't be done, but I couldn't find it and NVIDIA tech support is closed for COVID-19. The Intel video has two HDMI ports and a VGA port for my third monitor. I have a 28-inch UHD primary monitor and two 24-inch FHD vertical monitors on either side and the computer's Intel video card powers all that screen real estate with ease. I bought more RAM but I could probably get by with 12 GB. I might upgrade the power supply but I like the computer as is, so I sent the NVIDIA video card back in. This Acer Aspire TC885 UA92 desktop is powerful and meets our family's computing needs. This is our first Windows 10 PC. It is an excellent replacement to our Windows 7 PC, which now serves as backup PC. The PC boots up fast. I timed this to about 12 seconds to boot up to to win 10 lock screen and less than 10 seconds to shut down. There is minimal bloatware, from what I can see when I checked out start menu. You get 443GB free out of 475GB for storage. This PC is quiet, you can barely hear the fan, even when you place. Both are reliable, without interruptions as I surf the net. I connected my wireless earphones via Bluetooth, pairs fast and works great throughout the times I have it in my ear. Norton Security Ultra is included free of charge for 30 days. Keyboard is lightweight and does not take up much space. It measures 16 one quarter length and 4 half in width. I don't like the way it feels, even though it has all the keys I want or need. I prefer my old keyboard, so, I use that. I like the mouse that is included, it has an ergonomic grip on the sides. The pictures and sounds work great from the DVDs that I put into the PC's DVD player. Note, when first using the DVD player, you select a region, region 1 to 6. You are allowed 5 changes to this option. It looks like the 5th time you select the region you want, that becomes permanent. I love the notch the DVD player has for DVDs, see picture. I can securely place the DVD in while the desktop is placed vertically. One of my older PC's DVD player doesn't have this notch, so it's not easy to put a DVD in, as the DVD just slips out. So, that older PC is placed flat for when I want to play a DVD, taking up more space. I don't use a PC for gaming that much these days, I prefer the consoles. But, I did install a few of my older PC games that I bought back when I used to play PC games a lot, from 2000 to 2006. Most of those games performed well, without glitches. I connected the HDMI cable from the PC to my TV and streamed my Netflix and Sling without any problems, it helps to have fast internet connection as well. This PC has two HDMI ports. If this is your first time using Windows 10, it's a breeze to get. If you do not have one, then Microsoft asks you to create one. After answering several of their questions, you are then at the familiar desktop interface, similar to Windows 7. Click link in description for more reviews. DLDR, 
you are getting a good product that does exactly what it says it will do and does include everything they say it should. The fan moaning noise is the biggest and probably worst flaw in an otherwise great system. I'm overall happy with the computer. It's a powerful computer that's easy to upgrade and looks nice, plus includes technology like PSI 4. Zero for a bit of future proofing. If you can tolerate some flaws in the design, this is a great system. If you're looking for perfection, which as we know is very rare in a product, it's this system with a top fan that's a bit quieter and an AIO water-cooled CPU. You'll be happy as long as you understand what you are buying, however. The pros for this are 10-3700x 5700XT combination, very fast processor, video encoding is so much faster than the i7-2600 I was using in a XPS 8300 very fast video card that stays cool, very pleased with this card. Tilde 100 FPS in Division 2 Ultra with HDR at UWHD, 2560 by 1080 at 80C and 70% fan speed, should do 1440p no problem, I've heard there is great overclocking potential in these cards, but I'm happy with the card the way it came. Connects at PSI 4. 0x8, not X16, but that's not a bottleneck considering it's as fast as PSI 3. 0x16. AMD X570 chipset fast SSD C boot drive 512GB 3, 500MB second read, 1800MB second write speeds with auto test surprisingly fast HDD data drive 1TB 195MB per second read, 91MB per second write speeds with auto test CA. It's like a low moan. I recorded it for Dell support and explained, but they said it's all within specifications and nothing is actually wrong. I'm not happy with the sound, but maybe I'm just a silent snob. CPU is air-cooled and is quickly thermally throttled during hard tests but does reach its guaranteed speeds which you should know does not include the maximum boost speed being sustained. Although told I would have fan control in a bio. However, I don't quite understand why they didn't make the space large enough for a longer 2x120 M radiator 2. And the case is heavy, which is bad if you have to move it but good as long as it sits still. And the biggest issue in my opinion the moaning noise these fans radiate is sometimes annoying. The cooling system should be water by default in this system because of how small and cramped the CPU area is inside of the case when closed up. It's a low profile CPU fan that appears to use the top case fan to take the heat from the compartment out through the top vent in cooperation with the intake front case fan and the power supply fan. Because of this, the top case fan revs up often and for prolonged periods when pushing the CPU, effectively removing the heat but moaning about it while doing so. The computer works great out of the box, if you wanted to, you could install a different top case fan, Corsair ML120 Pro, $25 when in stock, without any LEDs, and AIO water cooler, Corsair H60 is said to work, it's like $70, and solve the biggest and possibly only sore points on this system. The Dell support forums are a great place to get information about a system like this before purchasing it. The parts I mentioned above are being used by other users in the forum with success. It's just the absurdity of installing a new fan and a water cooler in a new computer that is me questioning this purchase. But you do get a full warranty with a support team. Click link in description for more reviews. Not only was I really pleased with the fast shipping on this item, but setting it up could not be easier. The PC is a small profile unit and does not take up a great deal of space. Once powered up, the performance was better than expected. All systems function as expected. No real excessive bloatware. Boot up is quick and system is very responsive. All in all, this is a good value for the price. As a non-gaming, retired professional programmer, this now fits all my needs. Very little bloatware, which I promptly removed, and enough upgrade options should I need them. Just two complaints that made me deduct one star, perhaps a bit harshly. 1. All the USB 3.0 slots are on the front. I would have liked at least one on the back for my external drive used for backups. 2. The hard drive came with two user partitions which has no benefit and many disadvantages for a solid state drive. Not only that but they put a private ASUS partition between the two making it even more difficult to either merge the two partitions or to resize them. How I've written this down, I don't think deducting a star was harsh at all. So far so good. Fast. What is this thing? 
I tried building out a similar spest machine for a similar price. What I needed was mostly this. Low profile case with clean looks and I.O. ports galore DVD drive good built in Wi-Fi. This computer comes with an antenna even, good power supply for my Radeon Pro card. This remains to be seen, but I will update if I have problems, had to be at least 6 physical co. The best I can do putting together my own components on Amazon was $900 and even then, I was getting features I did not need and losing features I needed. The built-in audio wizard app from Asus is the best I have seen from any OEM. Almost no bloatware installed except for Macaf antivirus. Promptly removed. Makes virtually no noise even when I playing Ages of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, hardly gets warm. Edit, my Radeon Pro WX3200 works flawlessly on it. It was super easy opening the case and installing it and closing it back up again. I love how they have the drives tucked away in the inside. My budget friendly workstation is complete and I am very satisfied. Click link in description for more reviews. So, my computer arrived and the first one didn't work. Turned it on and the screen had fuzzy lines on it, got a replacement from Amazon and the second one works wonderfully. I just got unlucky I believe for the first dud computer, but the second one is working really well. I think it's worth it it's a great computer. Received this computer and it seems to be working fine, and anytime I have had questions or issues they respond pretty quickly. Love my computer. What more can I say, this PC is so well built. This thing screams quality. Packaging is fantastic. Specs on this thing are future proof for like 5 years, i9 processor 10 cores, 2080D graphics card, liquid cooled, high end MSI Z490 motherboard, 1TB SSD, 2TB HDD. The keyboard and mouse are quality as well. The pricing is unbelievable for what you are getting. I'm currently playing Warzone and I am getting over 180 to 200 plus FPS. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, and more to come. Games run incredible. It does help that I have a very high-end monitor as well, I have this paired with a 38LG Ultra Gear Gaming Monitor. If you're thinking about buying it, just do it. You won't regret it. Click link in description for more reviews. Picked this up for my stepson. He plays a lot of games and I've started teaching him to develop games in Unity. For both graphics and processing this box holds up nicely. His build times have shrunk down a ton and everything looks great. This is a solid choice if you are willing to spend a little more than you would on something simple, but not as much as something truly cutting edge. It hits a nice sweet spot for performance and value. My son love this gaming PC a lot. He love the case too. Its case with lead is really refreshing. Awesome. Bought this for a gaming PC and so far it's working out great. Fantastic. My golf simulator has never worked so well. Highly recommend. 5 stars all around perfect PC exactly what it shows and says I got. Have no issues, size is great airflow is amazing just all around awesome PC. Click link in description for more reviews. I love this product because it performed according to specifications. Although the 3080 GPU was having quite a lot of crashing issues at first, once in few days, the update from Nvidia fixed that. In general, Kook Gaming is to be trusted. If I should buy another PC, I will use them again. Thanks. Unbelievable value. Shipped quickly. I'm so happy with this purchase. This is such a beast and I'm so surprised to find something like this for under $3000. The RTX 3080 is a dream. I had to upgrade to an even better monitor to get the full effect. It boots in less than 10 seconds. The case and lights are beautiful, pictures don't do it justice. Great cable management and great quality. Prefectly built and just enjoy to use and game with. Only a couple of very small complaints, only 4 UBS ports, and if you use wireless the wireless adapter that comes with it will take one of them. Just added a high quality UBS hub. No Bluetooth, but added a Bluetooth card in the open slot under the graphics card that I ordered on Amazon for less than $20. Remote doesn't respond every time to change the lights. Sometimes have to play around with it but I'm not sure where the sensor is for it, so it might be me just pointing at the wrong place. Overall, pretty close to perfect.
I'm so excited to have this and to be gaming with the best of them. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. Click link in description for more reviews. I've had this computer for only a few days, but so far I'm impressed. The first thing I did was open it to check for loose wires etc. Everything was secure, and the wiring was excellent, with everything bundled and out of the way. Very clean build. I was a bit disappointed that the Windows installation was quite old, requiring hours of updates and numerous reboots to bring it current. Also, I became a little concerned when SFC slash scan now found corrupt Windows files which it had to fix. I also see that the event log includes numerous warnings and errors that the onboard Wi-Fi adapter is experiencing many failures, and warnings that the firmware is apparently out of date. I wish that they had updated the MOBO Wi-Fi firmware before shipping it, as I don't have a clue about how to do this myself. And all those failure errors should have inspired them to check on the hardware more closely before shipping it. Nonetheless the Wi-Fi does appear to be working despite the errors, as does everything else. I don't do gaming, but I've installed numerous modern software development tools and they are all working well. If anything changes I'll update this review, but as of now I consider this computer to be a good deal, despite Kook letting a few fixable flaws slip through. It performs very well, but is very loud. You'll have a hard time to justify using it unless I'm playing a game. It's far too loud to watch videos or to do work on without a headset on and volume up. While troubleshooting, I noted the parts in the build and found that it would have cost me about $400 less if I had built the computer using the same parts. Additionally, I've spent another $100 on replacement fans to reduce the noise from the fans that came with the build. First startup I found all the fans running at 100%. Click link in description for more reviews. This was easy to set up, my games look awesome. Bought this computer so I could get a Valve Index. This meets the specifications and to me it seemed a bit in the higher end level for my price range. It's funny because I was looking for a PC with a DVD drive and couldn't find one yet when I opened the box this computer came with a DVD for drivers, isn't it ironic? This is my second CyberPower PC and the last worked like the champ it just got outdated. The appearance is great, it is quiet, loads in a second, overall very happy with my purchase. Setup was easy and fast. The PC came in great condition too. Definitely impressed. Click link in description for more reviews. I had a computer that was 8 years old and used Windows 7 and I needed to update badly since the OS wasn't supported by Microsoft anymore. With those old computer specs, the system seemed pretty outdated and a lot of the new games these days require Windows 8. One or newer in the hardware that I had in. I really took a lot of time researching what would be a great but still quite affordable. Ultimately, I finally decided to go with this computer because with the hardware it has, I may not need a new computer for a really long time. Just maybe I will put in another HDD, but that should be about it as I don't think I have any plans to do any hardcore streaming. I love this PC. CyberPower did great building and shipping this PC. I will be ordering another PC from them for my wife soon. I did add two more fans to keep it more cool. Other than that it is amazing. Box wasn't in very good condition, but the PC arrived in great condition. We'll update once I run a few games. So like the computer is great. When I got mine, at first I didn't notice the keyboard. Until I turned on the light and man, the keyboard is gross. It's scratched up, there is white hair everywhere, and dust. I went back on Amazon, and read other review, and it seems that many people had been sent used keyboard. Went to get support, the dude Victor said sure he'll help. Five days later, no reply. Had to message him, still no reply. Waited five more days, still no reply. So I said you know what, forget it, him start leaving my Amazon review. Boom, next day, go my replaced keyboard, and it was set out the day before. Now it's been one month, and guess what? The keyboard has problem with the spacebar, it's making noise when I press on it. So, here we go again. Prob sent me another used keyboard. I recommend for gamers looking for a low maintenance slash high performance system. I see reviews suggesting more cooling, but so far I am not seeing a need. My previous Asus VR gaming and workstation PC wasn't cutting in anymore, 
Us VR folk know Half-Life VR is coming out soon, so I needed to upgrade. Picked up this pretty special out model C series and, so far, this computer is delivering great performance. I couldn't really be happier. Cannot adjust at fan speed but everything else perfect to poo fans Intel SSD of good poo team group RAM Intel i7-9700K. The parts they picked are pretty decent, not the best by any means but better than some pre-builds I've seen. Packaging was pretty banged up and had some damage, so I was suspecting to see some damage on the system itself, sure enough there was some minor damage to the case. The system itself seems to be running fine so far, although in gaming the system tends to run a bit hot, I don't think they did a good job on cooling the system, might need to add a few more fans, there should have been at least another case fan on top vent. The RAM is a bit low as well only 2400 MHz, maybe 3000 MHz would have been nice. Overall for the special pricing they had running on this for $1199 I can't complain or gripe too much, only time will tell if the system holds up. I have been building my own PC since the late 80s. When I compared the cost of building my own versus purchasing this machine it seemed obvious that I should go with the pre-built CyberPower PC. My team is working on VR app and game development and I wanted a machine that would handle everything we threw at it. This machine's benchmarks after a few tweaks in the BIOS are awesome. Click link in description for more reviews. Plays everything I own on ultra settings. Fallout 4, GTA 5, every Steam game. Running it through the Can You Run It website says that it only meets minimum requirements to play Fortnite. Question mark weird says the system needs more RAM to get recommended settings. Just ordered this yesterday and set it up today. The computer came packaged well and protected. Mouse and keyboard are high quality. The PC runs very quickly, starts up in less than 15 seconds, and runs games on high slash ultra settings smoothly without any lag. The tower and its components are neat and organized, with lots of room inside for additions, if you wish. The remote controlled lights are nice feature too. I'm very happy with my purchase. It is amazing. This may not be for extremely needy demands, however this PC is very good for me. The only technical spec I wish they had brought up a bit is the RAM. They could have added another stick. But, that really isn't a big enough issue to gripe over. Mine came with an MSI bazooka board, very nice. The build is clean and the tower is aesthetic. It's lightning fast and runs everything I can throw at it. Mouse and keyboard are user specific. I wish the keyboard had key LED, but they work for me and that means the price point makes sense. Super recommended, fast and powerful, although some new games do not run at 60 FPS, see. It is most definitely worth the price, I have been using it to stream on Twitch as well to run my art programs and it runs beautifully. The noise level is basically non-existent except for a now and again sound of a fan starting up. Would definitely buy this again or buy another computer from CyberPower. An absolute great SPC I've had it for one year now with no problems I get good FPS on almost every game I highly recommend this PC to anyone. Great entry level gaming PC. I got this for my 15 year and Hess very happy with it. It came with a nice GTX 1660 that lets him play his games on high to max settings no problem. Click link in description for more reviews. I ordered this Dell for my daughter's virtual classroom as an upgrade from the Chromebook she was using. I'm a PC guy myself, and she also wanted to run Minecraft Java Edition, so. Win 10 was necessary. Construction the enclosure is as advertised, it's smaller than a typical mini ATX, and could even fit on a 12 inches deep bookshelf if you didn't mind squishing the cables on the back slightly. The side panel is attached with two captured knurled thumb screws for tool free removal. On the inside, you can see how they achieved the space savings. There's only one full length PC and one short PC slot. I'm guessing the second one is for a second SSD. Because here's something kinda quirky, although the back plane appears to have 4 removable dust screens, you know, for 4 expansion cards, only the one adjacent to the blue PC slot is actually removable. If you look closely at the photos, you can see this. 
For today's non-CAD, non-rendering workstations, this is actually a good thing. Because it allows for significant manufacturing cost reductions while allowing for the most common upgrades, more storage space and an upgraded graphics card. Likewise, only having two memory slots is perfectly suitable to most configuration scenarios for this box, because of the high capacity of today's DIMMs, memory modules. Why pay for slots you don't need? One thing I was a little surprised about, as otherwise this box looks to be configured for office use, is the lack of a physical speaker. There are TRRS ports on the front and back, TRRS, or tip ring ring sleeve, can accept an auto-detect headphone, microphone, or combination headsets in a single jack, and built-in Bluetooth, so I'm guessing that most users are expected to use either wired or wireless external speakers and mic. Click link in description for more reviews. I was in need of a good desktop that would be versatile enough to handle whatever I would throw at it. Mostly, that consisted of surfing the web, so we're not talking about anything serious. But I wanted a machine that could take on large amounts of data or powerful software without skipping a beat. A large solid state hard drive was also key. So after doing a good amount of research, I landed on this computer. It had faster processing than my old laptop, plus an almost 1TB SSD. 16GB of RAM was good enough for me. Click link in description for more reviews. Works so far. Few issues but seller quickly resolved all so far. We'll keep you up to date. I am reposting my comments after using this machine from last 3 to 4 months and not seen any issue. I created two account one for myself and second one for my kids, I use for programming and my kid also use for programming and game so far no issue. It's a good deal and seller is very nice and respond immediately if you have any question. Great micro computer. HDMI card came unplugged. If you are having HDMI problems check that first. i5 w 16 gig of RAM. Less than 10 seconds from off to ready. Great deal for an older system that still works fantastic. Just starting to use it, so far so good. No problems. Note the HDMI is an adapter that plugs into the option I.O. slot. Refurb was clean all specification on hardware were spot on very quick little machine for office use. It's not a gaming machine but perfect for heavy MS office use. Click link in description for more reviews. Very fast computer. Up and running in about 5 seconds. Bought for my high school senior who will be going on to engineering and is currently using it for AutoCAD. The computer is great, blazing fast and capable of handling all we can throw at it. It's also a great deal. Initially, it appeared to be missing the NVIDIA graphic card. But after contacting the seller, which was not techno intelligence as described above, it was Amazing Express Wholesale Group, it turned out that Dell simply hadn't installed the card properly, it was loose and just needed to be properly seated. Amazing Express Wholesale Group made a YouTube video showing how to do this and answered my many questions. I'm very pleased with this purchase and seller. Quiet and powerful machine. Dell got it all together on this one. OS was Win 10 Pro, and graphics card did not match the ad, but both were upgrades over the ad so I let it slide. Does Mathematica benchmark 4x faster than my old cheese grater Mac Pro? I use it for crunch so I cannot speak to gaming or support. I bought this computer for viewing and editing 4K video and raw photos, and so far it hasn't disappointed me in the least. It boots in a heartbeat and has run as smooth as silk since the day I bought it. It's heavy and the build quality seems to be better than any other computer I've ever owned. I had previously purchased a Dell laptop and was so impressed with that, that I purchased this Dell desktop also. Yes it was expensive but not as expensive as some. I think you get what you pay for, and in the case of this Dell XPS 8930, I think the price was very reasonable. I'm very happy with it and would definitely recommend it. This thing is really fast. We just love it. Click link in description for more reviews. I don't know what causes this but I just got the PC and very upset that this happened. It takes me to a blue screen that say automatic repair and I reset it and did everything. Update. They are sending a noob because the 2080T has a 55% chance to failure and that's what happened not their fault. I purchased the model with the i9-9900K slash 32GB RAM slash RTX 2080. 
packaging and shipping he was a little apprehensive to purchase after reading some reviews regarding damaged or poorly assembled products. When I received the computer, it was packed in a brown outer box, that was a bit abused, with about a couple of inches of space around it filled with some pink packing peanuts and the coot box inside. The inner box with the actual computer had large styrofoam inserts to protect the computer. The package required a signature upon delivery since it was high value. The computer came on time in a couple days as expected. When unpacking the computer I made sure to carefully inspect it since other reviews mentioned scratches or damaged components. The tempered glass side was in perfect condition and had a protective film on it. Not sure how another customer said the glass shattered upon unpacking since the film would have kept that from happening. Inside the actual case was a special foam pack that was used to make sure the components, especially the video card, would not jostle around inside the case. All I had to do was remove the four screws on the glass panel to remove the foam pack inside. Components and build quality system came with an MSI Z370A Pro motherboard, 2x Team Group Vulcan T4 16GB 2666MHz DDR4 RAM chips, an Asus Turbo GeForce RTX 2080, Intel i9-9900K processor, a 500GB The build quality was good with all the cables neatly organized and out of view. The package came with an envelope with all the component manuals and extra cables. The system did not come with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth built-in, so I purchased a separate card for both that was basically plug-and-play. The system also came with a checklist sheet signed off by the tech that built it and a QA person, everything was checked off but the only thing they missed was attaching the HDD with screws, so it was loose in the case, but in an enclosed part of it where it wouldn't mess with any other components. They included all the extra screws, so I was able to attach it myself. They also replaced the OEM case screws with thumb screws for easier access. Noise sound is a bit louder than my previous HP computer, but that was expected considering the components and amount of fans. There was a very, very faint pulsing buzz from one of the front mounted case fans, but I basically had to bring my head right up to the case to hear it. Click link in description for more reviews. Recommended this for a customer of my ID business. His existing desktop was on its last legs, built for Windows XP sticker on it, and this was a priority purchase. This has a 512GB NVMe SSD, rare at this price point, 8GB of RAM, which we immediately upgraded to 16, 8 USB ports and a DVD drive which is handy for businesses. It is compact, relatively free of bloatware, and the Windows 10 updates took less than an hour. With the Ryzen 3200 APU you will not be doing intense gaming, but for a small business this is a perfectly competent machine. At $449.99 US this is a good machine. One thing to note, with a 180 watt PS, do not plan on adding a discrete graphics card. This thing is fast. I don't care how the RAM is dispersed. This SSD is one fantastic new idea. I can't even hear it, it makes no sound. I still have Windows 10. BOO. No DVD player with this OS. Not that I need one. I have no use for the, gaming, ability since I only play online games. The keyboard, I didn't need, is junk. Great for work and personal life. I am not a digital native. This computer suits all my needs, and has worked well. I didn't realize how pokey my old computer had become. My only complaint is the housing which is a bit on the cheap feeling side. The UBS ports are not definite when inserting a flash drive. The disk drawer is vertical and requires snapping the disk onto a hub, not that big of a deal except the drawer is very flimsy and the hub is on the back side of the open drawer. Not much accidental force when the drawer is open would bend the frame. A horizontal drawer in which the disk is simply placed is far better, it is so quiet I don't know whether it is off or on. I get was I expected. It's fast. It's quiet and has a lot of memory capacity. I liked mine so well I bought my wife one just like it and she loves hers also. Hewlett Packard is an old electronics manufacturing company. I used HP electronic test equipment when I worked for the US Army and NASA back in the early 1960s. I found that all the HP equipment was very durable and up to all the tasks we requested of it. That same durability and functionality has been designed into this HP Tower computer. 
Nice computer, it's fast and works up to what I expect of HP. Worth the money. Click link in description for more reviews. Arrived on time and well packaged. The computer was clean and came with a KB and mouse which I'm sure will use as backups. The computer itself has an i5-6600, yep, not 6500, and one stick of 8GB. The SSD drive is a Samsung. Also it came with a DVD-RW unit. Great value, great performance, highly recommended. Easily I could spend from $500 to $700 on a system with the same specs at Office Depot or Best Buy. Very fast and excellent conditions. Great for home use or even a business. Make sure you have a display port adapter if your monitor takes HDMI, DVI, or USB-C port. So far so good. Came very clean, no dust, minimal wear, has one stick crucial 8GB RAM, and Samsung SSD running Win 10 Pro. Very well packed, and shipped quick. Thanks, this machine is fast and priced right. The very best thing was the customer service I got when I needed some help. One word outstanding. Would not hesitate to do business with these folks again. Great experience. While this PC may be an older model, it is a solid state model and I simply prefer that in the digital or optical hard drives. Very good machine, starts up fast. Bought this to be a Plex Media Server for my household. Mine came with a keyboard and mouse. First thing I did was update the BIOS. Was easily updated online in the BIOS. The 256GB Kingfast SSD came mounted with one screw due to the other hole having strip threads. Not a deal breaker for me. Slower than my Samsung 850 EVO SSD. I added a Quadra P400 half height card and 2x8GB DDR4 2133 Corsair Valley Select for a total of 24GB. Works good running Dolphin emulator. Reliable box that runs 24 7. Have not had any blue screens or random reboots. You may want a display port to HDMI cable if you use the built-in graphics card. Also one may consider using a PCIe adapter for adding more SAT or some NVMe ports versus adding a graphics card depending on storage needs. Just remember a half-height bracket is needed for this SFF box. For the price I had lower expectations that were definitely exceeded. I would recommend this value PC. Worked out of the box as is with no problems and is very quiet. We have had no issue with these machines. Great machine for working on. Recommend for business that is Microsoft Office 365 and or G Suite. Great affordable machine. These are super clean and in great condition. Bought two of these and was extremely impressed. I had spent over a month shopping on FB Marketplace and OfferUp, to find local PCs. Everything was Gen 4 Intel chips for $225 $250 for the same specs. When you look at them, they are in fair to bad condition and not even renewed properly. These HP desktops off Amazon from this seller were shrink wrapped from a Microsoft authorized refurbish center. They were super clean inside and out. They were really fast upon boot up and even when using and installing software. We are an IT company and we can get PCs to slow down real quick when putting multiple services and software on them. These are blazing fast during install, after install and all day long. Very impressed with this purchase for this price. You just can't find Gen 6 for this price. Very happy with my new desktop HP Elite Desk 800 G2. Had no issues, Windows was extremely easy to activate. And it was well packaged. Thank you. Skytech USA LLC. HP is always my go-to. This desktop was a great buy for the money. The G2 supports NVMe boot. I purchased this last year and it is still going strong. Click link in description for more reviews. Great PC, quiet. I have been a fan of these HP devices for years. This one works great as a daily use device, I don't know how gaming works. The Win 10 license failed for me that is my only issue. This came exactly as described and was very clean. On first boot, W10 completed install and it has been a workhorse ever since. I highly recommend. This machine comes with Windows 10, however, it's great for Linux as well. To add Wi-Fi for CentOS Linux, we tested both of these USB adapters that work after hash yum install mod RTL8812. X86 underscore 64 Linksys was 6300 AC 1200 TP Link Archer T9 AC 1900. I wanted a replacement for an old HP Compact 6000 Pro small tower that we've had for maybe 8 years or more. 
I've got an Elite Desk 800G2 tower that I got new a while ago and it's been reliable. I didn't need a tower setup so this refurbished Elite Desk 800G2 SFF compact system seemed ideal. As it happens, the unit I received did have the slim DVD drive that was a popular option, but not every system will have one unless it happened to have come that way for the original owner. If you want one, it's worth asking. Very prompt and helpful pre-purchase support. Very prompt delivery, shipped on a Monday, arrived on Tuesday. Follow the instructions to activate Windows, easy to do as long as you can read the product code and type it correctly, it took me two tries to get it right, Windows Update was happy to apply the relevant updates. Add the HP Support Assistant and it will do the platform specific Intel updates. I got the latest firmware from the HP Support site and applied it, which was not hard, just a bit scary, if you have flaky power and don't have a UPS, it can be risky to update firmware. Nice system, runs well. Biggest challenge was getting our old Fujitsu scanner installed, Windows didn't recognize it at first but once told to go find the drivers, it did the trick. Since the old system had lots of stuff hanging around from back in the Windows 7 days, it's good to have a clean start. Excellent bang for the buck, very happy so far. Click link in description for more reviews.